All right, coming up to today's video, we're gonna be doing a market recap on the condo market, as well as talking about pre-construction, something that's happened that's very interesting to watch. Coming up next, stay tuned. <laughs> Michael Jacob Zach, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button for more market uh, updates in regards to Toronto real estate. Now, today, like I said, we're talking about an update on uh, what's going on last month in terms of the condo market. This is a market that's been thriving uh, due to obviously, you know, a lot of people getting, you know, priced out of the market. They've been looking for other options and condo being, you know, the most affordable option for many. Uh, this has been thriving, especially with all, you know, interest rates going up and stress tests and different, uh, you know, factors that have drove this market and continue to drive this market. So today we're going over the numbers. We're also going to be covering a little bit uh, pre-construction, some stuff that I've been kind of watching and that may relieve some of, you know, this hot, crazy condo market for some buyers um, in the upcoming months. So uh, just to jump into the sales aspect of the resale market, um, you had a total of 21, 27 units sold last month. Now the breakdown with the 416, you hit uh, 15, 19, and in the 905, it was 608 units. Now the average with both these markets was, uh, you know, 562,000. Um, this is a jump up from last year of 7%. Now the breakdown, when you look at the 416, you're hitting um, on average 603,000 and in the 905, it was 461,000. Now total new listings was just over 3,400 and current active um, inventory is just over 3,700, which brings our months of inventory 1.7, which is well below obviously the uh, GTA overall market. And uh, days on market was 23 days. So again, below the average overall market. Now, looking at these numbers, they're very similar from last month. Uh, and like I said, this is a trend that we keep seeing um, year over year. Obviously, it keeps increasing. For many factors, like I said, affordability, it's very hard for uh, anyone looking to get in the market. This is pretty much, uh, a lot of people have been priced out of the market, which they continue to uh, look for potential you know, resale opportunities, we'll say to get into the market um, without going into semi-detached and detached where it gets much more expensive. Now with the resale market continuing to be a strong, you know, force for many buyers in it and sellers obviously benefiting from the, um, you know, low months of inventory, you know, many end users are now obviously continuing to jump into pre-construction as new projects come up they are uh, doing their research and jumping in to try to you know, lock something down and beat out and not have to compete with the um, resale market. Now, when we look at the numbers on pre-construction, sales increased a year over year, 4% to uh, 4,738 last quarter. Now, year to date brings it over to 14,000 um, units. This is actually down 46% from last year which was a record high of over, you know, at this time of the year of 25,000 units. Now, the interesting part here is unsold inventory from last quarter is up 2%. Now, when we look at unsold inventory on a month of inventory basis, it went from last quarter uh, 5.1 months of inventory to 5.2. Now, compared to last year with that record high, when you know the market was going nuts and everyone was getting pretty much anything going on the market everyone was jumping into um, you had only three months of inventory so with this rising inventory you know if this is a trend that keeps going on it's going to obviously relieve some of the stress on the resale market because as inventory grows on pre-construction you know most people will just like I said, your pricing will begin to drop. Unfortunately, although despite the decrease in sales, you know, pre-construction pricing is actually up 11%.
Now, looking at the average sale price of new construction units, you're looking at $745 in quarter three per square foot. Now, the remaining asking of um, unsold units is being advertised 90% higher at $972 per square foot. Now, any pre-sale um, buildings that are being marketed are being marketed quite high at over $1,000 uh, per square foot. On average, you know, listed at $745,000. The average square footage is 714. So like I said, you've, we've broken the barrier of 1,000 square feet. Now, the reason why developers are doing this is because they are seeing uh, the absorption rate of new buildings selling out 55% uh, of the building being sold out right away. And then um, obviously they're increasing the rate or the price um, to maximize profits. Now, there was a, in quarter three, they did drop, you know, 8,000 more units on the market, bringing, um, you know, pre-construction um, units to over 67,000. There's a heavy demand there. Like I said, 55, the absorption rates at 55%. But although there's a strong demand, you are seeing projects out of the 15 that started eight out of 15 did not sell um, over 30% of the building. This is a demand that obviously, like from a year ago, you only had one out of 15 projects. So again, the demand's there, but if it continues to trend and not sell, uh, and those numbers, the months of inventory increases, you will see um, a lot more projects, you know, not selling out, and then, you know, might be some reductions in new construction. But at the end of the day, you know, developers are relying on heavy marketing campaigns. And you will see these numbers like the last quarter here, there's a lot of projects coming on the market and they are doing quite well from some of the bigger projects. But again, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, seeing the trend. If they are continuing to absorb at 55 percent, like I said, if that decreases, you're going to see different pricing strategies and different marketing tactics come into play. So definitely going to help out the resale market. So if you are looking to get in the condo market, there is a light, you know, hopefully at the end of the tunnel here. Um, but still strong demand. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, plays out in the future here. But like, comment, share. Love to hear your opinion on this. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care.